get on it. It's kind of annoying. So, hanging out with my little stinky. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyways, so we're actually at the doctor right now. It's a follow-up appointment today for her ears. Um, it's been two weeks, so they wanted us to come back for a follow-up. Well, we got here a little bit early. Our appointment's not until 9.45, and it's almost 9.30, so, and she had, she didn't eat breakfast, so she's eating now. I could have picked a better place to park, but, oh well. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure if I'm trying to keep her out the sun. I'm pretty sure if she has an ear infection when we go in here that we're gonna get tubes because this is like her third or fourth in like two months or like a month and a half, something like that. She used to love bananas like so much I would just give it to her and she would like hold it herself and just eat it, but I don't know if it's like texture thing, she doesn't really want to hold it or what. <laughs> she makes the funniest, cutest faces, it's so funny. Yeah, you do. So Addison spent the night at Kenley's house last night, and so she actually didn't have any clothes, so we just dropped some clothes off to her just now, and then headed here. It's not that far from the house or daycare. What? It's like 15 minutes, I think. It's, probably, it's, it's more like 20 to 25 for me, I guess, because of the way I go. Because I don't do highway if I don't have to. You have some in your mouth. I don't do the highway if I don't have to. I just don't. And actually, to get here, there's some really bad, like, merging spots, and I absolutely hate it. But that's why I pick my, I, like, pick my uh, times for the appointments at a certain time because I know it's not going to be as busy. And it will be easier for me to merge with the lane that I have to, whatever. So I try not to go, like at lunchtime because then it's awful so if I go like right before like 9 30 10 it's usually better <laughs> you okay you all right so after this I'll go ahead and give you guys an update so see you in a minute Cam. Cam, can you say all done? Is your mama all done? Cam, Cammy. Hey guys, I'm back. So first off, we got in there at. I was literally writing. <laughs> he's talking. I was literally writing down because you have to put your arrival time and then your um appointment time and I was when I wrote down arrival time I was at 9:38. It is now 11:08 when I just got back in my car. That took forever. They when I got here the parking lot was literally full and like it's there's a lot of parking, like a like quite a bit of parking. There were so many people here, and I was like, oh, no. I already knew we were going to be here forever. And so, sorry about the lighting again. So, we got in there, and there was, I mean, there was a lot of people in the waiting room, but it didn't seem like as many people, like, in the um, parking lot. But I guess they were trying to get all the, like, littler babies into rooms um, because, turns out, talking to the nurse, and there were seven doctors working today, seven, and they were, like, it took for, obviously, I just got out of there, and literally my doctor, pediatrician was in there for, like, five minutes, that was it, so, that shows you, they were busy, 
but she ended up telling me that they have a lot of flu and a lot of strep. So they were, that's another reason they were trying to get the babies, like, out of the waiting room. That way, you know, they're not around that stuff. We actually have flu, RSV, and strep going around the daycare. Not really bad. I only know of one baby, I think, that has strep. I mean, the flu. One baby in Cammy's room that had the flu. And then one? One had bronchitis, but I don't even know. Is that contagious? I think. I don't know. But one had RSV, too. And I think there was one. There might have been two. I don't remember. But then, actually, Addie's teacher has strep. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, Addie doesn't pick that up. But I'll probably end up going around the classroom. Her teacher felt like complete crap yesterday. But, yeah. So, if she stops crying, I'll finish this. Um, I'll just go ahead and finish talking a little bit later. Maybe when I get to work because she's mad. She wants to drive. So, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I'm back at work now. Hopefully I don't wake Cammy up. I'm trying to make this fast. Um, so she ended up, I already knew, it was not a double ear infection, but it, she did have an ear infection in her right ear. So I don't know if it came back or it's still there. She said left one was good. She was like, that one is pretty bad. So she ended up giving me a different kind of antibiotic. So we already... We already tried amoxicillin, which never worked for Addison either, so she, so, and I had told him that, and that's why they switched me to the Ceftonir, but she ended up asking me, she was like, so this is like a few now, right? And I was like, yeah, in like the last two months. So I think it's her, I think it's her fourth one, and she, I was hearing her count, she was like, that one, that one, that one, and then this one, so I think it was, this is her fourth one in like two, two and a half months, maybe, um, so she was like, I'm going to go ahead and refer you. And I was like, I figured. So I already knew it. I already, I already knew. So we, she's actually, she actually referred me to a Cook's ENT, which Addison doesn't see a Cook's Children's ENT. She goes to North Hills, North Hills ENT. It's like a North, Rich, North Richland Hills. Um, she's waking up. The North Richland Hills, and that's where she had her surgery at as well. And the only reason that we had to do that was because Cooks was such a long wait, um, and they ended up get being able to get us in like months earlier for the North Hills ENT. And even whenever you go for your visit and they set up for tubes, it was like a whole nother month later. Like we went in August, September, because we went in September. And then her surgery didn't even end up happening till October 26th. Weird that I still remember that, but I do. So, um, she said, as long as the wait is not too long, then they'll keep me at Cook's. And if not, she said, if it's too long, then they'll probably go ahead and refer me to somewhere else. Which, hopefully, it'll be the same one. Um, and then, if possible, if we get into Cook's, I'm going to see if Addison can actually be switched to them. Maybe, I don't know how that works, but if I would, if I was able to switch her to Cooks, um, I would like that better. So I guess we'll be doing that. She said they'll call me in the next week, and then if they don't call me, then I need to call them, and they'll, um, I guess call them again and see. But, um, she did say we could go in for another follow-up, so in two more weeks I'll have another follow-up for the ear infection. Hopefully it's gone really hoping that they could get her in look at poppy back there <laughs> i'm really hoping that they could get her in like soon um she's been super duper fussy or at least i hope that this medicine will help her i need to go to walmart probably later and get some more motrin and some more tylenol so help her with the pain hopefully but also stop the canes every time i go to the doctor i usually stop Stopping at Cane's for lunch because we don't have one, like, in my little town. It's, again, it's not, like, super far, but I don't like driving over there, like, on my lunch break just because, because that kind of, like, 15 minutes there, 15 minutes back. For me, the way I go, it's, like, half my lunch, so I always go whenever I have doctor's appointments, but, so that was our day. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos. Bye.